Hey everybody, uh, Zach here for the last tutorial of today, at least, but many more to come. Uh, today's uh, right now this tutorial is going to be about uh, working from Magical Voxel, taking models from there, transferring it to Cubicle, and then using Magical Voxel again for whatever other purpose you want, which most likely would be rendering. So. We're actually going to pull up uh, this, this cubicle. We're going to pull up Magical Voxel real quick, and I'll explain to you guys uh, the major differences between the two. Magical Voxel is a free version, uh, a free tool. It's a free tool for voxel editing, but it has very strict limitations. Uh, and there's also different means to editing in Magical Voxel. A lot of you may be transferring from Magical Voxel to Cubicle, and I realize this is so the reason for this tutorial. And for those of you who have created models in, in Magical Voxel and want to transfer to Cubicle, I will explain this real quick. Uh, so what you're going to want to do, and I'm going to use an example module, which is uh, model, which is Mono Two, uh, Mono Nine. Sorry, I can't read uh, Mono Nine. And uh, as you can see, what you what you can, what you might as, uh, assume at some point is that, oh, okay, I'm going to open up Cubicle, and I'm going to import the vo uh, you're going to import uh, all supported files, but it's really a Vox file. But there's actually multiple Vox files, as you can see. And but by default you're gonna you're gonna assume like oh these are all good these are all gonna work out just fine but there's actually the mod magical voxel vox version if you do all supported files and you import something from magical voxel and you go okay I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna go in there vox files I'm gonna uh, import mono two you're gonna see the colors are off and the orientation is off so and you you don't want that at all that's this what's the point of importing it if it's not gonna come in the way you made it made it right. So what you're going to want to do is do import and import magical voxel and then find it again and it's yeah it's doing that you see so it, there's a bug and this is because cubicle and magical voxel are both always updating on their own at their own rates and each tool work differently so this is the this is meant to be the way that it's supposed to work but i know this is not the way it's going to work long term so what I recommend is is the following. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna be in Magical Voxel, and from Magical Voxel, you're gonna go on the export section on the bottom right, and you're gonna want to export as QB. So that's the that's the thing is that the Vox file, the .vox format, is a messy thing. There's various versions of it. There's a lot of different types and all that stuff. So in every tool creator gets confused, and that's totally normal. And unless they're talking to each other on a one-to-one -one basis, you're never going to get um, totally up-to-date tools. So you're going to want to export Magic of Ox from Magic of Oxel as a QB format. And we're going to put it on the desktop for this. Actually, no, let's put it in the same section, uh, the box. It's monu9.qb. We're going to save it there. And there we go. So now we're going to open up, we're going to take Cubicle, and we're going to import. So let's do import all supported files. That's not stress. And we're going to look for monu.qb. When we import it, it's going to come in the right size, the the right size, the right orientation, which is important. This is the orientation from the front, and oh, that wrong one. Um, and this is the orientation from the front. It's just flipped on the x-axis, which is which is fine. You can adjust for that by just doing flip on x, and boom, now it's right. So that's the only major issue actually I, I've noticed uh, from other not myself but from others as well saying that the x-axis it flips incorrectly that's fine it's an easy thing to adjust but either way that's the way to import from magical voxel to cubicle is to export as a QB format and then import it from cubicle as a QB format and then you'll get all the colors now if you want to say okay well now I have this where's my palette I've lost my palette what you're gonna do is Open, uh, go on the bottom here, click number two for a new palette, uh, empty palette section. You're gonna wanna select the file, not, not go into it. Going into it won't solve anything. You're gonna wanna be in the scene view, click on the file, go on swatches, and do add used swatches. And there you go, your palette has been returned to you. So you're gonna be good to go from there, and uh, you may continue and edit however you like. But now, the final step is, hey, okay, now I've completed an edit, we're gonna just do Okay, let's, gonna, let's just add something real quick. Uh, let's take this here and add like a, I don't know, a path. We're just gonna do like a little path of grass. Like that. It's just gonna be meticulous here. Let's go like that, then all the way up like this. There we go, okay, cool. We got, we got some grass, we're good. 
Now we want to send this one out to Magical Voxel, and say we want to add make it bigger, because that's that's gonna be a lot of people's uh, reasonings for getting cubicles. That hey, I can make a larger scene, and it's not gonna be a problem. But I can't. Ma you can't render this th these four all together. You can't render this in Magical Voxel, the editor version, because there's a limit of a hundred and I think a hundred and twenty six or hundred hundred and fifty six cubes wide, deep, and tall. Whereas if you go on um, Magical Voxel's website, so if you were to go onto their GitHub, and you can actually go onto the viewer, and you can download the viewer because the viewer has a huge limit on its size. It's 2048 cubed. So in all dimensions, 2048 cubes that, that can be rendered. So that's what you download. That's what I actually use most of the time. And we take this, we can export it onto Magical Voxel Viewer, and you do Manu 9. You can see this is going to change now. So we open up the viewer and we go on Manu 9. Where are you? It's going to take a bit to load. So one thing to keep in mind, if you have larger models and you're exporting them, you're going to need a lot more graphics, uh, not graphics, but uh, RAM to export. The more RAM you have, the, more, the larger scenes you can export. So there you go. Now you got Manu full view. The only sh the only part that's you know that sucks is that the viewer mode does not have all the functionalities that the renderer in the editor editor one provides. You're not going to be able to do diffuse metal glass or emission. So that's one thing to keep in mind. All you're going to be able to do is a basic render with shadows and DOF and sun and sky usability with LOD, but yeah. That's that's all you're going to be able to do. There's not much else you can do from that. So just keep that in mind if you want to make massive scenes. You're not, you're not going to be able to do any of these crazy, uh, these crazy uh, materials. That's not really a thing that can be done. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this helps you understand uh, how to use Cubicle and Magic Voxel together. And um, I'll see you guys later. I'll be planning out more tutorials. And if you have any ideas for more tutorials, let me know. Uh, one that I have planning in the works it will be for Voxel animations. Frame ba both frame-based and uh, rigging through Maya. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.